Hey everyone, it's Erin. I have a new video for you guys today. I'm excited to upload it. Um, it is a Sephora haul and then um, a couple other things that I kind of just picked up the same day um, when I was out with one of my girlfriends. Um, yeah, and my hair is just like messy and like scrunched because this is what I do in the summertime. In the wintertime you won't see me with my hair like this because it's just too cold to go out with your hair wet like that all the time, but in the summertime I really don't like care what my hair looks like really as long as it's clean so yeah okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'll start off with the Sephora products this is my little bag okay the first thing that I get and I'm really hoping that this lighting is okay I know it's flickering back and forth I know it's not the best quality but that's okay because you can still see what I'm doing okay so the first thing that I got is this BCBG Mac uh, I don't know how to say it, just BCBG perfume and this is one of the things that it was up by the cash a lot of times I just kind of go straight for the things up by the cash because you can get more products for your buck I guess than buying full-size products and if you don't know if you are gonna like something and where Sephora is so insanely expensive I think it's almost better to buy the smaller products and it's been working out better for me because yeah I would just rather have smaller products okay so this is BCBG perfume and if I could get it out of the box for you that would be great sorry it's like super stuck in here okay so this is what it looks like it's super cute super super tiny though like the bottle is, let me tell you how many fluid ounces. 0.25 fluid ounces. This is what it looks like. And it's very like, it is it is floral. Not really musky. It's like more, I'd say it's pretty much like a floral scent. So if you don't like floral, you may not like it. But I'm not a huge floral person either. And I don't mind it. So, yeah, anyways, it's a really, really tiny bottle. This was $18 for this little tiny bottle. I live in Canada, so that's Canadian price. So we'll see how long this lasts. I mean, a little tiny, like one of the scent or scent, like sample ones, like, you know what I mean? Like the little tiny tubes last me like forever if I'm not using it every day. And I definitely do not wear perfume every day. I far, like far from it. I do not wear perfume every day. I can't even wear perfume where I work. So... Yeah, this should last me quite a while. And I mean, if I really love it, then I'll go back and purchase the full size, but it's $125, I think. So it's a little crazy. So yeah, so that's the first thing that I got. And then this, I am so super, super excited for this. I got an amazing deal on this. This is the Talica Lipoclilis. Okay, I'm totally like butchering the name. Lipoclilis Eyelash Conditioning Gel with vegetal extracts. So this is what the box looks like. And I'm not sure like in the States if they have this right up front now or not. This wasn't right up front. This would have been in, cause this is a full size product. This would have been in amongst like all of the other products in the store. And that's what it looks like. Like when you take it out of the box, that's what it is going to look like. And I haven't actually opened it yet. I guess I can do that. And so this is a gel. Um, like math it's not a mascara you put it on like a mascara but it's to um, lengthen your eyelashes and you put it on every day you have to be consistently putting it on like every night before you go to bed and within the girl said four to six weeks but most people notice it within two or three it is going to make your eyelashes longer she said it makes them grow longer from like the root now I have fairly long eyelashes if you can see they're already like fairly long I don't really have a huge problem with it but I'm kind of hoping that I might not even have to wear mascara out if the lashes get long enough from using this and this is originally like $94 and I got it for $20 because they're discontinuing it so what sucks is once you go through this tube they 
they're not gonna have it anymore which stinks but you can find something like it but you won't pay $20 for it because um, lash enhance eyelash conditioning gels or whatever they're called enhancers are very expensive so yeah it looks like a mascara and the wand even looks like a mascara wand but this smells totally fine doesn't smell bad at all so I'm gonna start using this tonight and I will do a review if you want me to do a review let me know please let me know you have to let me know otherwise I don't know what you guys want because there's like a hundred people watching my last couple videos and no one commented so I have no idea um, so yeah this is what it looks like and I will let you know so I'm gonna use it for like I'll try it for four weeks maybe three weeks and if I notice a huge difference right away I will do a video right away for you guys and let you know because Sephora is still selling this they are discontinuing it but right now it's super super cheap and you're gonna find it up with all of the like cheaper stuff by the cash okay and then I um, purchase I didn't actually purchase this I kind of cashed in some of my points because I have a Beauty Insider card and once you have a hundred points on your Beauty Insider card, it doesn't take long at all to get a hundred points because everything's so expensive, you can get a free product. They have a box at the front, like a clear box at the front of the store and you can pick out what you want. And you don't have to cash them in, you can cash them in whenever you want. So I got the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. Excuse me. I've been looking for something like this for a while. I didn't want to pay for it. One of my girlfriends bought um, Professional by Benefit and it was $34 and I was like really like is it actually gonna get rid of my pores because I have really big pores. You probably can't tell right now because I'm a little bit more tanned but usually I have huge pores. Anyway so it's by Clinique Pore Refining um, Solutions and it's a correcting serum. So you put this on, there's just like a little pump put this on before you um, do your makeup and it's supposed to shrink your pores so I get this for free so that's exciting and there's in little instructions in there to tell you how to use it and then they gave me a little sample in here of acne solutions oil-free cleansing mask and liquid makeup I would try the liquid makeup but I don't have acne so and I have very sensitive sin skin, so I'm guessing if I put this on, it would just burn my face like crazy. So I'm probably not going to use that. So yeah, that's all that I got at Sephora. Sephora is very expensive, so I usually only get a couple things. Then I have a few drugstore products. The first thing that I have is by Garnier. It's the Garnier Fructis Color Shield Detangling Nourish and Shine Leave-In Conditioner and detangles and nourishes your hair. Love this. I used it yesterday after I got out of the lake. Me and my friend went to a lake yesterday. I was going to say the name. I don't know why because I shouldn't. Um, and I put this in my hair after I got out of the water and my hair was so, so soft. No tangles, no knots, nothing. It was awesome. And the smell of this is incredible. It smells, I don't even know like what like raspberries or something I don't know but it smells amazing and it will it won't look like this when you first buy it and it does settle and then it'll be like two different layers so you just have to shake it up before you use it and this was like five something it wasn't on sale it was like 549 and then I purchased two NYX products I haven't bought NYX for quite a while actually I bought the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese and I have had this before in the color Milk and I loved it. I used it until there wasn't like anything left. So this is like a more shimmery color. It's still sealed up but you can kind of see there. It's like a pearly finish to it. I love, love, love this color. So I'm probably just going to use this as like an all over lid color. Like if you want to do like a quick makeup look, you can just like put this on and then do your mascara and go. So yeah, I'm sorry, like showing this with a white background is pointless. So there we go. <laughs> and then I got a blush and this is in Mocha. I don't know why this is called Mocha because it does not look like Mocha. And it's showing up much darker than it actually is. It's like a very pretty like berry color. And it's not like the best summer color, but I wanted a new um, blush. I like to just like repurchase things. Um, you know when I get sick of them and when I want something different so I want a new blush so I purchased this 
and it's PB01 Mocha, and this was $10 in Canada, not on sale. $10 and $5.99 for that. And then I have two other super exciting products that are not drugstore, they're high end. My One of my girlfriends, one of my best girlfriends, was in the States, and I had been in the States in May, but I didn't see this color or hear about this color until I watched a video of Ingrid's Miss Glamorazzi. This video is getting really long. I'm really sorry. And anyway, she was wearing this nail polish on her hands and I was like, I want that nail polish. Anyways, I looked for it here. I've only seen Butter London in one place near where I live. So my friend Jen was in Ulta and she picked me up Butter London's Slapper. This color is awesome. Like, it's not showing up as bright as it is. It's like super, super bright green. I have it on my toes right now. I absolutely love it. I've had it on my toes for like four or five days. I should probably take it off because it's not looking the greatest now. But anyways, so Butter London Nail Polish, if you have never had one, it's awesome and I think they're worth the money. And she got this in the States, so she only paid 14 for it, whereas here I pay 17 And top just comes off like that. And then you screw it off to get the nail polish out. Anyways, and yeah, absolutely love this color. It's like totally bright and fun and different, but I couldn't find it here where I lived, so I had to get it in the States. And then the last product that I have is a Smashbox item. This is my first, I believe my first Smashbox product, and it is a cheek and lip tint so what the packaging looks like it's so nice i got this at winners winners is a canadian um company i'm almost positive it is it's very similar to tj maxx like so so similar um i don't really even know what the difference is because i've been in tj maxx in the states and i mean besides the prices being cheaper in the states it was very similar Anyway, so they carry high-end products here and there in their beauty sections, but you have to dig, dig, dig to find them. This was the only Smashbox product that was there. I got this for $15. This would retail here probably like $42, $46. So I was pretty freaking exciting. Excited. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's like a very like shimmery pinky color it's kind of corally actually like a coral color if we can see it there in my hand anyways and this is a cheek and lip tint so you can use it for both so i'm so excited that i found a smashbox product for 15 dollars. it's crazy i was so excited anyways okay that is it that is my long haul of new products that i've recently purchased and yeah like i said please let me know below please comment and let me know below what type of videos you want next and let me know if you want a review on the eye serum after i use it for like four weeks i'll do it and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye